Hi, I'm Cass Nauman, and I'm going to be talking to you today about yoga. Yoga means to yoke together, and in Sanskrit, it means to unite. Yoga has been around over 6,000 years, and about 2,000 years ago, there was a guy who put it into the Yoga Sutras. Um, and since then, there have been many different types of yoga that have come into existence, and many that are practiced today. There are unlimited benefits to practicing yoga, which expand into the physical, mental, and eventually the spiritual, if you pursue that path. It increases flexibility, increases suppleness, can increase your strength, um, and makes your movement more graceful. Yoga also cleanses and conditions multiple internal organ systems. It can improve your digestion, and also leads to mental clarity. Yoga can alleviate anxiety, emotional tension, and mood swings. It can also address physical ailments, very specific physical ailments, such as body aches, back aches, neck aches, um, PMS, IBS, and a variety of other ailments. I feel more peaceful, more clear-headed, um, and generally happier with a general sense of well-being than I felt before I practiced yoga. Another focus of yoga has to do with your breath, and with correct breathing, you improve multiple things immensely. It helps get more oxygen into the red blood cells. Also focusing on your breathing increases the way your heart functions as well as your lung capacity. When you're focusing on your breath, you want to be sure that the inhalation and the exhalation are of equal duration. You want to focus on the breath through the diaphragm so it expands fully through the kidneys and you should feel it expand all the way down through the lower abdominals through the kidneys. Yoga could be a benefit to absolutely anyone in the population from children learning basic postures, um, practicing breath, breath control, uh, stability and balance, um, up to a geriatric population. Uh, working on the same thing is actually keeping suppleness, preventing osteoporosis, uh, and keeping their bodies limber. Uh, for the average person, uh, you would benefit by decreasing fat around your abdominal muscles. Um, it would help you focus your attention better and centeredness and stillness and clarity. It would help you with balance, with flexibility, and with general peace of mind. One of the really cool things about yoga is that you can do it in the comfort of your own home. If you like, you can just buy a video from a store on the internet and practice in your own home. You don't have to buy any equipment or pay any special fees to a gym. You can buy a mat if you like or you can just lay down a towel um, to practice. Now you may be thinking, wow, I can never do that. But yoga is the perfect answer to that because yoga will increase your flexibility every day that you practice. Personally, for me, yoga has done an enormous amount of things. It has certainly improved the quality of sleep that I get. Um, the neck pain that I used to have is virtually non-existent, and when I do experience neck pain, when I go through a few yoga postures, uh, asanas, and into relaxation, everything always tends to adjust itself and alleviate the pain. Next, I'm going to show you a few yoga asanas, a few poses. And again, remember, you don't start out doing those. Uh, you work up to these. This is probably the most basic, simple yoga pose. Most classes will start in this position. When you be in the class, just begin centered and uh, becoming aware of your body and your breath. Oftentimes, uh, if you're more advanced, you'll place one foot on top, or sometimes you can place both of them on top as you sit in this pose. But if that's not comfortable for you, you can just sit in a regular style pose. And sometimes you can place a pillow or a blanket behind you to kind of sit you up a little forward to make it more comfortable in that pose. This pose is called the triangle pose. It stimulates the nervous system, the digestive system, and it decreases abdominal fat as well as strengthening and stretching the hamstrings and working the muscles around the knees. I certainly um, experienced some strength gains, um, particularly in my upper body and my core and my abs. Uh, more limberness, more flexibility, suppleness in my muscles, um, and a general sense of well-being. There are many different levels to yoga. Um, everyone starts out as a beginner, so at the beginning, just focus on your breath and go through a few basic poses. Just getting used 
to a comfortable sitting still for a period of time, focusing on your breath, the exhalation, you're always stretching deeper into the stretch. And as a beginner, you just start with this. As you progress, you go into more intermediary and advanced poses that you hold for longer periods of time or sometimes into flows. Um, as you progress, it'll become more and more difficult, but it's only as your body is ready you want to wait until you're comfortable with each position before you move on. This next pose we're going into is called the boat pose. Um, it teaches alignment, focus, and balance. This pose also aids in digestion. This next pose is called the tabletop. It strengthens the lower body and stretches the upper body. Tabletop. This series goes from down dog into up dog. The up dog, which I'm in now, helps to open up the chest and keep the neck and back supple and healthy. Now I'm going up into down dog. Down dog tones the nervous system and cleanses the internal organs, as well as strengthening the entire lower body, and particularly working the lower back. <laughs> okay, this pose is down dog again from the side view. It forms a triangle. You want to reach your hands forward as far as you can, stretching the lower back. And the top of the triangle you want as narrow as possible. From here, you're bending the knees and the elbows and going into up dog. Back into down dog. And on your exhalation, up dog. Uh, during the periods of time at the end of yoga, I'm just lying in corpse pose. Um, you can meditate or not, I find a lot of mental clarity, um, answers to questions that I've been debating come to me during those times, as well as inspirations for creativity. This pose is called child pose. It's often the way fetuses are in the womb. It helps to stretch out the pelvis, the knees, and the ankles. It also stimulates blood flow, flow into the pelvic region. You can also do the stretch with your forehead on the floor. It's very relaxing. I think it was because I noticed such an increase in my flexibility within the second time that I practiced. And I found it so relaxing at the end. I felt like I'd had a great workout and really earned my relaxation, my clarity, and peace of mind. I noticed better sleep the first night after I practiced. And I was really excited to take the next class. Um, it's always something challenging because you're learning new poses or you're advancing and progressing with the poses that you've already learned. Um, it's really rewarding uh, because you're not working against anyone else. You're just trying to better yourself and improve yourself from your practice the previous uh, day or week. By being aware and taking care of my body on a daily basis and exercising and stretching and being sure to relax and self-reflect at the end of every day, um, I maintain um, plenty of self-awareness and um, mental clarity to make decisions and to cope with my everyday life. I would encourage